Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have more fall Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. For one of them, I actually got the item in the Target dollar spot, but it was just a dollar. I do use some paints in this video, but I'll have links for the ones that I used down below if you're looking to check that out. Otherwise, I got pretty much everything in Dollar Tree. I hope that you will enjoy these ideas. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. And let's get started. Also, I think I saved my favorite DIY for last, but definitely let me know which one of these is your favorite. For the first one now, I'm taking an 8x10 Dollar Tree frame and cutting out the back piece of this vinyl folder that has the wood grain print on it in order to fit that inside of the frame. The front of this folder had a deer on it, which I showed you guys before in a previous DIYs video. For this one though, I'm just using the back part of the folder and I'm leaving the glass off of this frame. I actually took one of these kids craft wooden pumpkins and I'm using some of the Dollar Tree and some of the Walmart acrylic paints. I blended my colors from lighter to darker to create a little bit of an ombre effect on this pumpkin and then I used a little bit of hot glue to stick it in the frame so without the glass this is almost like a little shadow box now or something. So somebody asked on my fall home tour how I created the colors on this pumpkin and to be honest it was simply just me being a little messy painting. I kind of had a bunch of colors on my paper here like you can see and there's no specific tutorial for it. I went from lighter to darker like I said in here and I had the orange acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. I also had some of the little acrylic paints that you can pick up for like around a dollar in Walmart. So I kind of just mixed like a little bit of the beige in with the orange to make it look a little bit lighter and then I did a little bit more orange and then I kind of pulled a little bit of the brown in to start getting it like a little bit darker as I worked toward the back of the pumpkin. And then because I still had beige on the brush, that's kind of what um, altered the color in the stem to create a little bit lighter shades of like a two-tone in there and on into the green part as well, mixing some with green and some parts of my brush had like a little bit more of the beige or the brown in it. So those were the, basically the colors that I used was like a taupe beige um, tan color, a chocolatey brown color, an orange and a green and I just kind of blended them in different shades and tried to actually stay kind of within the lines. I tried to avoid painting over the black lines so this way the lines of the pumpkin would still have like that definition. Anyway, I hope that helps you. I've got this on the living room console table by the window. I think this looks so nice. I also always get questions on this tray. It is from Amazon and I'll have it linked below. For the next one now, I'm using one of these Dollar Tree cutting boards. I was using an acrylic paint on it at first, although that one started chipping off easily. So I would recommend trying chalk paint instead. That one worked a lot better for me. I did the edges with the oatmeal color chalk paint and the inside part with a black chalk paint to create somewhat of like a chalkboard here. I did both sides like this and then once it was all dry, I used my white chalk marker to write some quotes on here that I heard this week that really inspired me. And then I decided to decorate both sides a little bit differently so I could face it either way, depending how I'm feeling. I cut some of these pumpkin stems from Dollar Tree to put on one side and to tie them on, I created a little burlap ribbon bow at the top on this side. And then on the other side, I cut up a mini $1 fall bouquet from Dollar Tree and just used a little bit of hot glue to keep all the pieces arranged on here how I wanted them. And I'm keeping this inspirational fall decor on my coffee bar to inspire me in the mornings. Next up, let me know what you think of this one. I can't decide if I like it or not. I covered a pizza pan from Dollar Tree with some of the wood grain contact paper that they carry. It was a little bit time consuming to get the wrinkles and the bubbles out, but I got most of them out and then I glued a little bit of nautical rope around the outside edge just to make it look like a little bit more neater, a little more finished, a little bit more intentional. And I added one of these metal signs that come three for a dollar in Dollar Tree and decorated the bottom with some pieces of wheat 
and fall flowers, also from Dollar Tree. Honestly, I wasn't sure what I was doing with this one or if I liked it or not, but my mom loved it when she saw it, so I think I'm giving it to her for her fireplace mantle. But let me know what you think or what flowers you would decorate it with. Um, I feel like this could go like on a mantle, it could go in your hutch, it could also be made into a door hanger to hang on the front door or just to hang on a wall in your home. I feel like this piece at least is pretty versatile. The next one isn't Dollar Tree, but I had to share it because it was just a dollar in Target's dollar spot section. I feel like this wooden apple is also like really good quality for a dollar. So I decided just to brush a little bit of white chalk paint over the front. I wanted it to look kind of messy and have like an aged almost like a modern farmhouse look to it and I really wanted to use this as a label for cookies or for my coffee bar or something like that but I ended up just writing a helpful morning prayer wish quote I don't know what would this be with my oil-based sharpie marker anyway if you have or had little kids can probably relate. The next one is easy but so cute. I'm using one of the orange leaf twinkle light strands from Dollar Tree along with a pack of felt leaves and I'm just gluing the leaves to each side of the lights. I did try to arrange the leaves so that they're slightly offset enough that you can see both the front and back leaves and I also try to line them up so that the little light is going to be able to shine through the holes in the leaves and I think this is just adorable for like a coffee bar, a little vignette, your coffee table somewhere in your kitchen, or even like a somewhat safer alternative for bedroom decor, something I can put in my girls' rooms and let them use something like this instead of candles. For this next one, I took a Dollar Tree vase and measured out a piece from this black and white plaid patterned vinyl placemat I found in Dollar Tree. I just used a bit of hot glue to attach it to the vase and I feel like the subtle plaid print on here would be great with fall and winter decor and who doesn't love putting out some fresh flowers. Personally, I always check the reduced for quick sale section at my grocery store and if I see something I like for just a few dollars, I'll often pick it up. For the next one, I had a small grapevine wreath on hand, so that's what I'm using. And I took some of these purpley leaves from Dollar Tree and sprayed them lightly with some gold spray paint. Not completely, I decided to actually leave some of the purple peeking through. And then I cut up those and hot glued them around the wreath. So I came back with some of these little glitter pumpkins to add into this little wreath in order to keep my pumpkins in place because I'm gluing some of them on a little bit sideways. I'm actually just using something little like this little succulent here to prop up the pumpkin while it's drying just to give the hot glue a chance to fully dry. So I added in the little white floral pieces from the top of a lilac bunch from Dollar Tree and if you decide to do this for a full-size wreath you can hang it on the wall or on a door but since I'm using a small version I decided to use it as kind of like a candle holder. You guys probably saw this quickly already in my fall home tour but I think this little setup is looking really cute in my foyer. The concept for this next one is super simple but so adorable that I had to share it with you. I found a beautiful gold frame in Dollar Tree along with this Thanksgiving card that Mike and I both loved. So I cut it to frame and for two bucks it couldn't be easier. So for this one, I just took one of these little signs from Dollar Tree. These are the ones you can hang on the wall. And I painted over the top part of it with some chalk paint. This is actually a Java colored one, kind of like a chocolatey brown. I'm gonna leave the sides with that plaid pattern. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and let this part dry. It does not have to be perfect because we are gonna be covering that part up. I'm taking two bunches of these mini flower with grass bouquets from Dollar Tree along with one of these candle holders which we're just gonna be hot gluing down into the center here. Then to fill in the gaps on here, you can cut some of them very short like this instead of leaving them on the stalks and just hot glue the pieces closer into here. In fact, if you don't want to bother, you can just pull these off and you don't even have to cut any of the stems. You can just go ahead and directly pull all the pieces off one by one and throw these stems away and then just glue your pieces on.
You could also add in some flowers or something like this wheat, whatever you prefer. If you'd like it to be a little bit more full right around the candle, it's totally up to you. Dollar Tree is also carrying three packs of these bright orange freckled pumpkins. For me, I think this is gonna to be too bright orange, so I took a little bit of burgundy paint, and I'll probably need to do a second coat on here, but I think that this color will go a lot better with my fall decor, as well as with the burgundy that is already in the bottom piece here, and I'm thinking of just clipping these in. I honestly think that this DIY has turned out to be my favorite one. Anyway, let me know which one of these DIYs was your favorite. I would love to hear from you. Also, let me know if you want to see somewhat of a little bit more glam fall decor DIYs. I have a couple of ideas that I was thinking of putting together to share with you, so let me know if you want to see that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I will see you guys soon. Bye!